Their airplane bathrooms are tiny. Reading 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guam. What's up, everybody? It's me, Daniel, Hi. and her, Johanna, the banana. We're back, and it's her birthday weekend. So, yeah, tomorrow's her actual birthday. So, where we're gonna go is... Life is Beautiful. Yes, Life is Beautiful Festival in Las Vegas. It's gonna be loud, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna see all kinds of crazy things. I wanna see Bill Nye, the science guy, yeah, talk. Definitely. Like, I know there's tons of music, but I'm pretty excited for Bill Nye. Anyways, we're getting the trip started. Right now, we are actually at LAX Airport. Take a look. I might get a massage right there. I probably will. Uh, we're also going to eat something right now. Should be fun. So let's get it going. We're on the plane now. About to take off. And we're watching health centers on our phone because it's included in the flight. Be in Vegas in a second. All right, so we're here. We're in Vegas. Just checked into our room. We actually got off the plane and then got an Uber. And we told them we wanted to go to King's before we got here. You know, chicken strips. He disregarded it. He forgot. Took us straight to the hotel. We're looking at Uber Eats. But get ready. Life is beautiful. We're gonna talk about it in just a second. All right, so it's day one. We're in Vegas. Ready for life is beautiful, but first, it's time for breakfast. So we're headed to the buffet downstairs, and we're gonna talk a little bit why we chose to come to Life is Beautiful. One, it's her birthday today. Yes. So we get to celebrate that, kind of a two for one deal. But the reason we like Life is Beautiful so much, well actually there's like 50 reasons, but one reason is that it's right in Vegas. You just come downstairs, you walk right into the whole venue. So, like, you don't have to take any shuttles, like with any other festivals where you go, you wait like an hour for a shuttle to all come home, and all the yeah, all that traffic, it's just terrible. This one, so convenient, and you get re-entries, so you can leave the festival, come back to your hotel room, go eat, lay down for a little bit, have some Gatorade or something, maybe have a few beverages, and then go right back in. So, we're gonna get our day started with some breakfast. It's time to head to the festival. We're walking down the Fremont Experience. It's my experience. birthday! Yes, it's her birthday. <laughs> We're walking down the Fremont Experience and just at the end of it right here is the entrance to life. It's beautiful. We're gonna get in there. First thing we're gonna hit up is Bill Nye the Science Bill Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. It's important that you hit up speakings, the com the comedians. That's and legit the first person check, I'm trying to see. Yeah, and check out all the art because once the performances start, it's back to back to back and a lot of them overlap. So you're gonna wanna get all this out of the way first each day. So get a little bit of it. Let's go.
Yeah. We're tired. But excited for tomorrow. So, we're gonna plop, knock out, and go to breakfast at Hash House to Go Go. Home of some huge portions. Last time we were here, we got crab cake Benedict and chicken eggs Benedict. Really good, huge portions. You should definitely share a plate if you go. Don't get your own. The pancakes are like the size of the table. So, we're gonna meet up with my brother. There it is. Crab cakes, Benedict. All right, so we are just about ready to head out for day two at the festival. And yesterday was pretty good. We got to see Blink-182, who are one of my favorite bands of all time. We also got to see Chance the Rapper, but today is gonna be a little more heavy. We're gonna see Schoolboy Q, Cage the Elephant, Muse, and one of my favorites, Cascade. But the primary objective of today is to get one, well, one White Castle, because I really like White Castle. And two, to see Cascade. I love Cascade. Gotta see Cascade. Anyways, so we're ready to go. Let's head on out. What do you got? Ice cream. Hawaiian honey cone ice cream. And it's shit like a J for Johanna. It's like a honeycomb cereal. Yeah. Well, that's it for day two. It's a wrap. It was good. Cascade was insane. There were so many people in there, way more than we expected. It was freezing out, and when you're in that tent, it's really hot. They stepped out. A lot. A lot. All right, well, day three begins right now. Hi. So, we are headed to day three of Life is Beautiful. And our main objectives today are one, to see gorillas, and two, well, she, wa cute she wants to, she's obsessed with taking a picture where I'm holding her up really high in the air, and we found out it, we, we don't look cute, so we gotta make it look goofy. <laughs> and this is what it turned out to look like. Yeah, goofy, I know. <laughs> Good ice cream too. Yeah, good. The breeze is always good. So we came back to the room to get our jackets, get a little snack and uh, rehydrate, or we're headed right back out because tonight is the gorillas. Woo! Pretty excited to see the gorillas. It's gonna be some kind of crazy performance because it's all like animation, right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be interesting.
that's it. It's over. <laughs> Birthday weekend over. over. Gorillas, they were cool. They had cool visuals. I liked it a lot. I didn't know that's what he looked like. Yeah. She thought it was an actual gorilla. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Well, they Alright. Well, that's it for this episode. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!